Uh, we get a fair bit of respect walking through the uh, the old park there. You know, everybody nods politely at us. Um, there's definitely no... I remember the first years we were on it, it was like kind of awe-inspiring walking amongst some of the other bands on it. I, I don't know if anyone feels that way. Um, but they do... They are kind of quiet for the most part. You know, people will be like... <laughs> Our new album, I Am Alive and Everything I Touch, uh, is a bit of a concept record, um, and it's very multi-layered as well. Um, basically, the the quote itself, I Am Alive and Everything I Touch, came from a uh, novel written by a Toronto novelist named uh, uh, Timothy Findlay. It escaped me for a moment. Uh, and it basically is from a section in a book of his where uh, a letter that a deceased parent has written to their child is found uh, and in, in it they say I don't don't mourn me I'm alive and everything that you touch and we thought about that and thought about like through touring and through being in this band we tend to leave our mark uh, whether it's a, a big thing or a very very small personal thing for somebody uh, everywhere we go and all the things that we do even the things that seem kind of minute to us can can be a big thing to somebody else so it wraps around that, um, and then we made the uh, track listing start with a song called Tr Toronto and end with a song called Toronto. Uh, and throughout that, you're basically going on a, a bit of a journey, a tour, if you will, starting in one place, ending in the other. And uh, I think you can assess throughout that journey the mark that you've left on those different places and experiences, if that ties that all together for you. <laughs> We do try and uh, make the songs themselves fairly self-contained. You want it to be the sort of thing where you can just hear a snippet of the record and enjoy it at face value. Uh, and it's only when you dive deeper into the record as a whole that it really reveals itself. So I, I think they, they do stand up pretty well on their own. Um, but yeah, it's always neat to have a, a theme tying it all together. We haven't talked about doing anything like that. We uh, we have celebrated a couple decade uh, milestones along the way. Um, the 10th anniversary of that record coming out, we re-released uh, a re-recording of the first song on the record uh, just for free as a thank you to all our fans. But uh, our previous record label asked us to take that down, so we did. But uh, I think that's still floating around on the internet somewhere. Uh, and we just actually did the 10th anniversary tour for Discovering the Waterfront, our second record. So we're, we're a little celebrated out right now, you know? We, we're looking at focusing on this new record that we just put out and, and making sure everybody knows and enjoys it. But yeah, we'll, we'll get around to celebrating some more of the accomplishments that we have made over these many, many years doing this. Hey, this is Josh from Silverstein, wishing you would subscribe to Louder Noise, the loudest noise on earth.